Hello all loonies and normals, my name is Joe Silver and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the shifting focus of games from single player to multiplayer. Let me, let me explain. Have you ever noticed how these days all games pretty much focus purely on the online multiplayer side of things? Uh, the games are made to be purely multiplayer with no single player feature whatsoever. In fact, at one time, if a game had an online multiplayer, it was a special feature. It said it on the box. You know, play online with your friends. Multiplayer online. You know, it was made a big deal of because it was a special feature. These days, they should very well, they should say on the box, play alone, single player, multi, single player, special feature. You know, they, because that's the way games have gone. They, they just aren't making them to be single player anymore. Now why have the game companies done this? Well we know why. Because they can charge you through the roof for your live subscription. For example, Xbox with the Xbox, you had Xbox Live. With the PlayStation, you had the PSN. With the network, with the Nintendo, you were going. They are going to have when the Switch comes out their own version of the live subscription. That you're going to have to pay for the online stuff with the Switch as well. Apparently, for the Nintendo network, they're all doing it because they can make more money if they run in a game console. But Honestly, I don't like that, and I don't know about you, but I don't like that. I actually got rid of my Xbox 360 for that very reason. I was paying for the console, fair enough. I was paying for the games, fair enough. If you're, if you're going to have an Xbox 360, you've got to have, have an Xbox 360, so you have to pay for it. If you're going to have that Xbox 360, you need games to play on it. So again, those two, fair enough. But then they wanted me to pay for an Xbox Live subscription so that I could go online right, and play with my friends and on top of that they want me to pay for Microsoft points because certain games and things that you got on there instead of going to the shops you could get on the on the Xbox itself download them to the Xbox itself and you could pay with Microsoft points so they want me to pay for that so I was paying for all of that and I just wasn't having it. I was like, no, this isn't, this isn't, this is not good enough. So I got rid of the Xbox and I got myself a PS3, which, by the way, the PSN is free on that. It's not on the PS4. And as I said, the uh, Nintendo Switch, they're going to start making you pay for the Nintendo uh, online stuff on that as well. So, yeah, I, w I wasn't having it. I got rid of the Xbox because of it. Because this is the point. They're making these games now so that they can make more money. And I mean, what happens if, and I know this is rare, but what happens if you happen to be one of the few people who don't have internet? Those games are then out of your reach. And if you're, or if like me, as I've just said, you're saying, well, I'm not paying for that extra content, because I wasn't. That's why I got rid of the Xbox 360. I wasn't paying for that extra content. It was like, ridiculous. So if, you, if like me, you were saying, well, no, I'm not paying that extra money to go online. It's not fair then those games are completely out of your reach. There's nothing you can do. I mean, and the companies know they're doing it. The, the focus has completely shifted. As I said, at one time single player was a special feature. It was a, not the special feature. It was the main. Now the single player is the feature. I mean, take Plants vs Zombies. I love that game. And I, I, I've talked about it in a previous vlog. And, you know, I'm Plants vs Zombies 2. I like that one as well. That was great. But let's look at those. They were pretty much pure single player. There was really no sort of online content. There was a local multiplayer, I think, if I remember rightly, where you could play locally, like a split screen type thing, I think it was, yeah? But there was no sort of online content, really. And I loved it. I, I thought the games were great. They were, in fact, apart from Stranger's Wrath, which is my very favourite game, 
that was my favourite game, was Plants vs Zombies. It was my second favourite, only because of Stranger's Wrath. And I loved those games, but then look what happened when Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare came out. Now, as somebody who loved Plants vs Zombies, I was really looking forward to, and I was really hyped for the release of Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. Then what did I find out? That it's basically a COD game. It's basically COD, but with the twist being that actually it's not you you in the middle of a war zone running around with AK-47s. It's you running around with as plants or zombies battling it out. So basically, it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. So that's what it was, and it, the focus was, again was purely online. They didn't have a story. They didn't have a single player whatsoever. So I didn't play the game. I, I, want, I loved the game and I've seen the gameplay and I really liked it. But I looked and went, it's pure online. I'm, I'm, not, paying, I'm not doing it. I didn't. So I didn't get it. And then Garden Warfare 2 came out. Exactly the same thing, basically. I think they did add in a minor single player for Garden Warfare 2. But not much of one. And that brings me to my other point. The companies these days are not making single player games. So if they do happen to feel generous and they do happen to make a single player game, the single player game is very weak. It's almost like they, they put it in, but they want you to get it out of the way as quickly as possible so that you can play the online parts. The single players are not that, that good, once if you have them at all. So what has this, gen this, this shift in focus bred? It's bred a bunch of 12 year olds effing down the mic at you because you've killed them. It's bred a bunch of games that are basically COD ripoffs or called COD. Where that is happening. And, you know, and it's just, it's like the streamer I was talking to last night because I told a streamer that I was actually going to talk about this subject today. And I said, before I do, have you got any opinion? And he said, yes. He said it was a bad move. He says, well, no. He said it was a good move financially for the game companies, but when it comes to the games, it was a bad move. He said, they are destroying an art. He said, they, they are not making art anymore. He said, games used to be an art. He says, and they just aren't anymore. And that's, that's what he was saying, that basically now all the games are basically cut. Uh, they're basically first person shoot em -ups. And he's right. It's It's... It's true, it's, it's what I was saying. I mean, games these days do not have that single player. There is this shift in focus to pure online. Now, somebody did say, they said, oh, you know, Naughty Dog, for example, are still making some pretty good single players. And that might be true. And there might be other companies out there like that who are still making good single player games. And if so, well done to you, you know for sticking to that integrity, but there are fewer and fewer of them. The games these days really have shifted focus to the internet, to let's make it an online feature, let's make it completely online, so that when you get your game, you can't play it on your own anymore. See, I, I, can't, I don't have a big ton of friends that I know in real life that at least not ones who I can go to and say, oh, let's play this particular game online or let's play that particular game online, right? You know? So I can't really touch those games that are pure online. I can't. And like I said, things like game, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, I've seen the game play. And do you know what? A uh, mate's house, I've even actually played Garden for Warfare one, once. And it was great. It was fun in its way. I'm just saying that it's a shame they focused entirely on single player. Um, multiplayer, I beg your pardon. <clears throat> because, you know, why is my question really, you know, maybe you have some thoughts in the comments, if so, leave them in the comments. But basically, there is this shift. Anyway, I've grumbled and mumbled and ranted enough. Uh, that's my vlog for today is about the shift that particular shift in focus and how you know I don't like it and how quite frankly it's it's a bad thing for the game industry because uh, let's be honest the way things are going eventually you'll be going into holodecks and 
oh, if, if the way the game industry is developing VR and developing into that virtual reality realm, they'll, they'll be making holodecks just now, like on Star Trek, and the games will be expecting you to have a whole bunch of friends to go in there with you. There won't be any, won't be anything that to, you can play on your own in there. Because, like I said, the game companies are doing it on purpose. Pay your subscription. Pay your makers some more money. It's not needed. They, they could make single player games. They could, and they would make more than enough money. They could drop their subscription live fees and they would make more than enough money. People would still play buy those games. But that's the game companies. We want as much money as possible. Anyway, as I've said, I have ranted, I have raved, I have mumbled, I have grumbled enough. If you did actually enjoy this content, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any thoughts on what I've said today, again, leave, the com leave it in the comments below. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a sub, leave me a like, leave me a comment down below telling me what you think of today's content what your views on what I've talked about are. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.